What the heck and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Luna, I'm in the Amazon and we are in for one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. Let's explore the Amazon, right? Right, right. What the heck and welcome to the middle of the Amazon jungle here in Peru. That's right, I've made it down to South America and this vlog is going to be dedicated to showing you the raw jungle along with having a whole bunch of new cultural experiences here in Peru. It's going to be insane and let me start with this incredible accommodation. This my friends is my accommodation for the next three nights which is incredible. It's in the middle of the Amazon jungle. Well, 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 what the heck? I'm staying at this location called Amac. Let's just do a quick room tour. You've got everything you need. There is a bed for all the visitors I'm gonna have, like the spiders and the lizards, and this is what I'll be staying. Arriving here was no easy feat. We had to take a flight from Lima, and then we had to take a boat one hour up the Amazon River. It was actually incredible. It was super beautiful. And before I can even get comfortable, we have an activity which is piranha fishing. So I gotta get ready for that. Now, obviously, no trip is complete without friends. So, Kevin and Daniel are in the back, and in front of me here is Katy. Hola amigos. And I owe this whole trip to Katy because she organized the whole thing. So if you're wondering, Jordan, you just do the coolest things ever. No, I just have the coolest friends that bring me along to the coolest Aww. experiences. So I'm very thankful, but... Aww. Follow me, follow me. Oh yeah, what the chick. <laughs> What the shit? No. What the heck? What the shit? No, it's Catty Travels. Oh, Catty Travels. Yeah. And now we catch a piranha. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah. I'm a piranha. Damn, the Amazon. We just parked under this beautiful mother willow tree and now we're gonna piranha fish, hopefully catching some dinner. So the technique is to move the water like that and then you plop it in and then they think it's a fish and they grab it. Wish me luck. Oh! Dinner is served everyone. Look at that. I caught my first piranha. We're gonna eat this tonight which is crazy. Wow, look at those sharp teeth, huh? That will bite you. Damn. And that's why you don't want to mess with a piranha. I wonder what his dentist is. <laughs> Last meat of the day. Wow. And we caught a big ass piranha. So I'm he happy. didn't catch one all afternoon. And then the last one of the day. Yeah. He probably he got, got the in. biggest one. That yeah. is awesome. Awesome. Yeah, man. And you're allowed to wash it. Oh! Wait. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. This is Carlos. He is a professional Amazon master. He's just catching fish in 20 seconds. Boom. Boom. He's showing us around this weekend, so. You learn it. We're very lucky to be learning from the master. He's lived in the Amazon how long? 45 years. 45 years. His whole life. Fishing, fishing. He's, wow, fishing his whole life in the Amazon. Waking up for a sunrise adventure. This is a dream situation. I'm so excited. Let's hope the sunrise is an absolute banger. Let's go. Whoa! Good morning. We got a little gap for the sun. It's incredible. How do you rate it? Yeah, I know. 
10 out of 10. Amazing, Easy. huh? One of the best ever. No one else but us. Yeah, seriously. What is, is what does that do? Calling dolphins. When they hear some something like that, they come. Ah, uh -huh. okay. They're curious. They want to know what it is. I saw pink dolphins. I know I didn't get any footage of it, but with my eyes. We, we believe him. We, you saw it yeah, as well. Yeah, I saw it too. The infamous pink dolphin, guys. So that was crazy. But from water to land, we are here at Monkey Rehabilitation Sanctuary, or in Spanish, La Isla de los Mons. La Isla de los Mons. <laughs> this place apparently is just monkeys are everywhere. I haven't had very good experiences with monkeys because in Bali they're like thieves and they take everything. I hear these ones are really friendly though, so we'll see. We've been on this reserve for like a minute and I already feel like we're being ambushed by monkeys. Daniel's getting two monkeys. We join the monkeys in the tree. And this one is my friend. Come to me. This is Dan, the monkey whisperer. Oh, wow. They love Dan's <laughs> strong arms because it reminds them of branches. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been around such friendly monkeys. Okay, up you come. <laughs> They're so cute. I can hear the heartbeat of the monkey. That's crazy. The last few days in the Amazon have been absolutely incredible. But now we are going to go on a couple hour hike deep into the jungle to see what we find. This could be wild, I don't know what to expect, but I'm excited. Tomorrow we have to fly back to Lima. I'm gonna make the most of today and tomorrow because it's just this place, this experience, everything about this is just ridiculous. Let the Amazon hike begin. It's gonna be a three hour return, Carlos says, so he's also got a machete and he's smashing his way through some of the trail. But Carlos doesn't care. This is easy for him. We're five, ten minutes into our jungle hike and if I had to navigate my way back by myself, I'd be stuck here for the rest of my life. I have no idea where we are. We lost Daniel and Kathy. They're gone. <laughs> we should just leave without them, I think. <laughs> Time to go. We found you. I got scared. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You actually went the wrong way. Yeah. It's so easy to get lost in the Amazon. Yeah. Like, one wrong turn and then you're done. I'd be lying if I said this was easy. We're about an hour and a half into the Amazon, trying to find a lake and it is so hot, so sweaty, so stinky but you have to wear long clothes because otherwise you'll get destroyed by bugs and grass and rashes. So this is truly wild. Hornets, everyone. Don't mess with these hornets. We made it to the destination, which is a beautiful lake, but it's quite hard to see from where I am, so I'll get the drone up and hopefully we can get a really good view. I picked up this mushroom. <laughs> what does this mushroom do, Carlos? You hallucinate. Hallucinate? You hallucinate. You hallucinate. Really? Oh, yeah, one day. <laughs> For one whole yeah, day, yeah, I'll be yeah, tripping. Don't, don't, yeah, yeah. If I eat this mushroom, I will go onto a natural trip for one day and I'd probably just have to sleep in the Amazon because I couldn't function. But how beautiful was that lake? The adventure was a success, but 
a storm is rolling through, so we've got to try and get back to camp really quickly. It's pouring down now. I guess that's why it's called a rainforest. Well, the hike ended in uh, absolute huge rainstorm, and yeah, it's still getting wet. There's not much more to say. It absolutely bucketed it down. Look at the crew. Wait, you can see these guys. Like you can see these guys' nipples. <laughs> that should be illegal. I feel like I've got half the Amazon River in my shoe. <laughs> ah, shit! Oh that's nasty, God. man. That's nasty! Now that's how you get parasites, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> four amazing nights here in the Amazon jungle at Amak. We have to leave this beautiful cabana. Trust me when I say this was one heck of an incredible experience and yeah, I can't wait to come back. Goodbye. Goodbye Amazon. Now we have to take a one hour boat ride back to civilization. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because part two of my Peruvian adventures are coming really soon.